in your fight against Victor Creed early on atop the truck, did anybody else find it weird that the truck driver stops when Creed yells, stop? I mean, he must have known that there were people on his truck. If for no other reason than the fact that when Wolverine gets knocked back, he actually flies past the windshield. Isn't that what it's called? The front window of the car. I'm not a car guy. The death of the Kents, I mean the Hudsons, was really dramatically ineffective. That was at least a little bit better in the movie. Am I the only one who thought that the hot oil onto the face of, I think it was one or two of Gambit's personal bodyguards was kind of excessive? These weren't enforcers for the mob. These were hired guns by a gambler. Why does he have so many of them anyway? Is he running all the gambling in New Orleans? The boss fight against Gambit takes forever. Seriously, you slash at him, he runs away. You slash at him, he runs away. Finally you get to finish off the fight. That African American dude apparently didn't appear in this at all. But hey, in the movie, he didn't hang out with Logan for all that long, as far as I recall. I only really noticed when he wasn't there when I was fighting Gambit. I don't know, maybe the black guy did have some lines during the flashback bit, but I'm almost certain we never saw him. I don't know if androids dream of electric sheep, but I can tell you that giant robots apparently bleed just like human beings. So you're the one who's been trying to kill me all this time? Yes. Now allow me to strap you into this chair. Oh man, how am I going to get out of this chair? I sure hope the screen will dissolve and take care of that. The explanation for Deadpool's name doesn't sound any less dumb in this than it did in the movie. We needed your powers for the pool. The Deadpool. Also, that isn't Deadpool. He's called Deadpool. His name used to be Wade. It's not Deadpool. It is kind of nice how they did give him the powers he had in the movie. Oh, and if you find him in the rogues gallery, if you thought it looked idiotic, and it did, in the movie when those swords came out of his arms, I mean, how is he going to bend his arms when those swords are in there? Then it looks even more ridiculous in the rogues gallery, where he's just standing there with the blades out. When Agent Zero shoots at you, is he seriously supposed to be using adamantium bullets? Because if he is, why isn't it doing way more damage? I mean, it does the same amount of damage as when other people shoot at you in this game. Those were my thoughts on X-Men Origins Wolverine for the Wii. Hope you enjoyed it. Now if you'll excuse me, I have some vengeance to wreak.